Hello everybody, this is uh, Scott, uh, Comic Book Hangover, coming at you late, a few days late with my new uh, weekly haul video. I know it's been kind of a crazy week, my work schedule got switched up this week, so I wasn't able to have the free time that I normally have to do my video. I was working at the time, so it just kind of screwed everything up for me, but it's a few days late, but I'm here now. It's also, uh, it's Saturday today, which is also Halloween Comic Fest, so um, and you should still have time if you haven't yet, go down to your local comic shop. They'll have a selection of free comic books, uh, Halloween-themed comic books that uh, are yours for uh, for the choosing. Uh, so I, I do I did grab a couple from my LCS. So we're we'll going through those. They're going to be going up on my wall as well with the new books. So starting off this week, so we can just great, really get into this, uh, are my uh, reprint books. So DC Dollar Comics, Swamp Thing number one, Bernie Wrightson cover. It's an amazing cover. Um, it's another one of those books that I'll never be able to afford the original, but I'm totally happy with having a reprint. I'm glad DC is finally starting to keep uh, more and more of the original cover. Uh, with something like this, there's no way they could have replaced this cover and uh, and not get some sort of a backlash for it. So I'm really glad they decided to, to uh, start keeping the covers for them. So I got that from DC. Uh, Marvel's True Believers. This month is X-Men themed. So we've got uh, the first appearance of Apocalypse. It's really kind of weird seeing the X-Men logo on the top of a X Factor comic, but it is what it is. I still got that. They kept most of the cover intact, so that's pretty cool. And then from the 90s X-Men series, the Jim Lee X-Men series, uh, we've got uh, this one here. It's the first appearance of a character called Quanon. Quanon? Don't know. Um, but anyway, it's just one that I picked up. It's only a buck, so I, I had the original of it, but I figured why not I'll grab the uh, the reprint as well. So for my regular books, my... my uh, non-reprint books. Sorry, I'm also kind of still fighting a bit of a cold. Um, this first one here that I got this week was actually uh, released last week. My uh, local comic shop does, and I'm sure I've mentioned before on these videos, my local comic shop does these raffles where you can win a variant cover. If you purchase um, if you purchase a copy of a specific title, any first issue, and then they have a list of about 10 or so titles that if you purchase any of them, you get a ticket that you can enter into a raffle and win one, uh, win at least one of a number of different uh, variant covers. So I entered to win another copy of the uh, Black Sketch variant cover for Ghost Rider number one and did not win that one, but I did get this one. Uh, Absolute Carnage, the Kyle Holtz. Um I think this is the, uh, yeah, this is the X-Men um, I think there's a connecting cover. I'm not really reading the uh, Absolute Carnage storyline, so I'm not really buying them, but uh, this is Kyle Holtz, and he is an amazing artist, one of my favorite artists of all time, so anything that he's going to do, I want to pay attention to. Um, so it's beautiful. I mean, just, it's very, the guy does just some really, really creepy stuff. So I grabbed that. Uh, the only um, uh, Absolute Carnage tie-in book that I read and really enjoyed was Lethal Protectors. Issue 3 of 3 came out this week. So I managed to wrap that up. I uh, had uh, Demo Goblin in it, and one that's, who's actually becoming a favorite character of mine, so I'm hoping to see more from her. I uh, grabbed Amazing Spider-Man number 32. I just got the regular cover. Uh, this kind of starts off the 2099 story, so it's going to involve uh, Miguel O'Hara uh, from Spider-Man 2099 showing up again in the modern Marvel Universe, and uh, Doctor Doom gets involved. Uh, Doom 2099 is involved. We're gonna get Ghost Rider 2099, Venom 2099. Um, I may not get them, get all the the one shots that are coming out in uh, December. Is it December? Does November December? Uh, regardless, I'm, I may not get them all, but I'm gonna get some of them. But um, uh, I mean, I really can't say too much about the Amazing Spider-Man book. I, I enjoyed the uh, the Miguel, Miguel O'Hara parts of it, and you know, the sort of references to something that's going on in his world of 2099. Everything came to an end, and Doom 2099 had something to do with it. Uh, I don't read Amazing Spider-Man, so as far as the other stuff goes, eh, it is what it is. If you're enjoying the book, great, but it's, it's not a book that I'm reading. Uh, I grabbed Avengers number 25. This is the final part of the Challenge of the Ghost Rider story. So you've got um, the original Ghost Rider, Johnny Blaze. You've got the um, overrated Cosmic Ghost Rider and the highly unnecessary Ghost Driver. But um really wasn't that much resolution in this. Um, apparently, um, there was a reason why Blaze didn't want... Um, Ghost Driver to win the race, but I don't know. It's just, it was it's a cool cover. It's a cool cover, and yeah, I'm I'm okay with that. Going on to the last new book um, that I grabbed this week, Contagion number four of five. Now this book I've been really enjoying. Every every issue it's it's a lot like Marvel Zombies, the very first Marvel Zombies. I remember when I was reading that originally, how it was just like 
there is no way this is going to end well. There is no way everybody's going to survive this. And that's exactly what I'm feeling with this one here. So uh, the, the characters in this book are very similar to the 616. Um, the, this version of the Avengers uh, does live in a in, in a, 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 a giant celestial body um, that they do in the Avengers book proper. But uh, I don't think this takes place in the 616. I'm, I'm reading it as if it's not. So that when um, they finally resolve everything in the next issue and not everybody comes back, it's okay because alternate reality. So I was able to grab three books for Halloween Comic Fest. And uh, so real quickly, we got, uh, I grabbed the Ghost Rider one. Uh, I never read this one originally, but I, I'm, I'm going to read this one now I started it. Uh, this picks up um, during the Damnation event they did a little bit a little bit ago. This is where Johnny Blaze dies. So if you're reading the new Ghost Rider series and they make references to Johnny Blaze getting killed by Mephisto, uh, this is the follow-up to that. So during Damnation, Mephisto kills him. And uh, this is where him and Ghost Rider are, um, have decided they're going to uh, storm the gates of Mephisto's hell. And Blaze wanted to become the new king of hell. He's going to put himself on the throne. So that's, that's, that's where this started. So if you're reading the new Ghost Rider series, you should definitely grab this one. It's free for Halloween Comic Fest. Today's the day to get it. And this will kind of fill in some of the gaps of the new Ghost Rider series. I also grabbed Halloween, um, the Halloween special for Junior High Horrors. It's a really interesting series. It's... I guess it's like kid versions of popular horror icons. Um, I have a few random issues. I need to get, you know, like the first couple of issues so I can start actually reading it. What I have checked out of it, I have really enjoyed. Um, it's a lot of fun. The I like the uh, the, the peanut style um, art for, you got uh, Jason, Michael, and uh, there's a cat here, a Freddy Krueger cat. But I, I really like this cover. Actually, um, my little boy picked this up. He grabbed. He was able to get some books for himself. He grabbed uh, this one. He grabbed um, the Sonic the Hedgehog book and one other one that was sort of a um, an activity book as well. It's kind of cool. And finally, I grabbed the Tony Stark Iron Man. This is a reprint of uh, Tony Stark Iron Man number one, the Dan Slott series. Um, they're doing a um, Iron Man 2020 book next year, uh, so it's going to involve, I guess, all the robot characters in the Marvel universe, or most of them, and they're going to be revolting against the humans or something all i know is jocasta's in it who's a really sweet character uh machine man aaron stack which i read somewhere that they're going to be using the next wave version of aaron stack which is going to be phenomenal if dan slack can do it um it'll be a great great character but also uh the one character that gets my attention is death's head is going to be in it and i think they kind of set up his part of it in the uh marvel comics 1001 uh one shot so I grab that one as well and to round everything off on my wall, I needed one more book. And since we're doing the zombie books, uh, I figured uh, we're going to move away from Marvel Zombies proper and do another uh, Marvel Zombies variant cover. Got this lovely little beauty here. Uh, Amazing Spider-Girl, I think it's number 13, the uh, Marvel Zombie variant. Now this is a uh, the Marvel Zombie version of the What If book where she made her first appearance. I have that in one of my boxes here somewhere. But I've got that. I've got this beautiful cover. Uh, another another Arthur Sadum, um, who my understanding is not one of the better people in the comics industry as far as personality goes. But the man's a heck of a talent. He's he's very talented. He's a heck of an artist, and I, I like his covers. May not like him, but yeah, I'm, I'm trying to get to the point where I can separate their uh, bad attitudes from the fact that they are pretty talented, and I, I can enjoy what they do without appreciating who they are or something like that. I don't know. I'm just trying to get back into enjoying comic books for the fact that I, I want to enjoy comic books again. So those were all the books I picked up this week. Um, of them all, Contagion was probably my favorite read. Uh, this one here, this 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 is a book that's filled with absolute dread from pan, from from cover to cover. Absolute dread. And just the way that the, uh, the Contagion, just the way the virus, I mean, look at Moon Knight here. Look at that. You just kind of, it, it's its in a plastic bag, so I'm okay. But when you're reading the book, you just want to get some hand sanitizer. You just want to wash your hands after you're reading it. You just want to, it's like, oh, this is just, this. no, I'm just glad that this is not a uh, an embossed cover where you can actually feel the bumps and the veins and stuff. I mean, that'd be awesome, but it'd also be very, very gross because that's just, that's just nasty. So uh, we're going to go ahead and I'll set everything up on the wall and we'll take a look and see what that all looks like here in just a second. All right, there you go. There's my setup for this week. Uh, nice mix of stuff. Um, thanks to the junior high horror, it's not all Marvel and DC. And um, just in case anybody is wondering why, how, how I do my books, 
Uh, you'll notice that I've got the Swamp Thing one up here, and we've got, you know, there's the X-Men ones down there. That's you, that's where X-Men would go. But uh, the way I do my my books, especially specifically with these reprints, like these ones here, I put them under Dollar Comics. So there's going to be a section in my boxes over here where it's just going to be Dollar Comics. Uh, these ones down here, I put them all under True Believers. So I've got a box over here that's mostly True Believers books. So that's how I have my books uh, separated. So... Um, as always, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up because I'm sure everybody's wanting to get to their local comic book shop to take advantage of Halloween Comic Fest, which I do highly recommend. Um, as I always like to say, feel free to try something new. Actually, today would be the day to try something new. Um, there's, uh, I know one of the other books is Deceased from DC Comics, Deceased number one. If you missed out on that, grab it. Check it out. It's a really, really, really fascinating read. Um, check out the Junior High Horrors. I'm not a fan of Dan Slott, but I'm going to check this one out as soon as I'm... I get a chance. I will be reading that because I'm, I'm curious about the upcoming Iron Man 2020 uh, mini event that he's uh, helming. And there's a, there's one person, I'll say this about Dan Slott. Uh, Personality-wise, he's one of my least favorite people in Marvel Comics right now. But the if, if he's going to do an event centered around a character like Iron Man, if there is one person that you can trust to do that event and make it and have it make sense and be on an epic scale, Dan Slott's the guy to do it. His um, um, Spider-Man events were some of my favorite events of all time. I mean, you know, Spider-Verse, um, Ends, Ends of the Earth or Ends of the World, whichever one that was that kind of led into the Superior Spider-Man. The man knows how to set up an event, so I give him props for that. And Superior Spider-Man still one of my favorite Spider-Man runs. But um, as I always like to say, once again, check out stuff you haven't checked out. A day like today where they're offering free books, giving you samplers. Check something. Check some stuff out. I know some stores will even have uh, some books from Free Comic Book Day that they're going to give away, or some other ones that they just have extras up. So try something new. It's always fun. <coughs> Excuse me. So we're going to wrap this up. Everybody have a good weekend. Sorry this video was was um, put together and posted so late. Like I said, sometimes things just happen that uh, you have no control over. So we will. Uh, I will see you soon. I'm I'm hoping to be able to get a um, another um, Halloween horror comic video sort of like my evil early one that i did last week hoping to get another one of those uh set up and posted real soon as well um tomorrow at the latest we're hoping fingers crossed see you next time